I'm not a man, nor do I have a penis. But I want to talk to the women today and let y'all know some things that you should be aware of, of how men view sex. Let's get into it. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, look, I've done a whole bunch of videos on my channel about sex, but we need to talk about how men view sex from a different perspective. Now, look, I'm clearly not a man. I don't have the male parts, but one thing that I know is I got a whole bunch of male friends <laughs> and I have worked with tons of them to know how they view sex. And they have let me in on some things that I want to share with the women. Look, I'm probably giving away the game, but I need for you to be aware so you won't get caught up, sis. I don't want you to get caught up. So look, now let me just give a disclaimer. Not all men just want sex. They're also complex beings. They have different perspectives and attitudes, and this does not fit every single man on the face of the planet. But these are some very true and valid things that I want you to be aware of so you won't get caught up in situations if you think a man likes you. And if you you think there's some certain things around sex that you didn't know I'm about to school you right now so the first thing is that just because a man sleeps with you doesn't mean he likes you I know some of these are gonna sting just a little bit y'all but I have to be honest and real with you just because a man has sex with you doesn't mean he likes you men can have sex with dang near anybody okay they don't have to like you they don't have to find you physically attractive they don't have to want to be in a relationship with you they just trying to get to the end goal and get what they need to get in order to feel satisfied I don't know if y'all ever heard of people talk about like having sex but they'll put a this is not realistic, but they'll put like a brown paper bag over the woman's head because she might not be as physically attractive, but they will still have sex with her. Like this is the same energy of that. So the energy of this one is that it's purely transactional. So it's kind of like, I don't want to get to know you. I don't see a future with you. I am just trying to get some because I'm horny and I want to have sex and you're willing to do it. So I'm going to do it with you, even though this ain't going to go nowhere. Now I'm going to throw a little curveball and a little caveat to this one too. This gets a little tricky if the sex is good. So if you are a woman that has good sex and you're good in the bedroom and you're putting it down, even though he don't like you like that and don't see a future with you and don't want you and may not be physically attracted to you, he will still have sex with you because it's good. So just know that if you're a woman who's putting it down, he's definitely going to come back and he's going to keep coming back for more. If you let him. That's the key. The second thing that I need for women to be aware of in regards to men and sex is that a man having sex with you will not change his mind about you. I know again, er, dagger to the heart, a man who has sex with you, just that will not change his mind about you. Don't think like, oh, well, we took it to the next level, so we were intimate, so now he gonna wanna be with me and he gonna put a ring on it and we gonna be together forever. Er, immediate no, uh, that's probably not gonna happen. Cause we'll be like, oh, if I put it on him real good, he gonna wanna be with me. He gonna wanna wife me. He gonna wanna put a loop, put, put with me. And it's just like, nah, the way men think is not like that at all. He thinking, let me get in here, do what I need to do, have a little fun, and I'm out. So let's be clear about this one. This man is going to continue to keep having sex with you over and over again as much as he can and as long as he can and as long as you allow it until there's another option that comes along or until you get so annoying and bugging him about, oh, are we exclusive? Oh, are we taking to this to the next level? Oh, are we going steady? What are we doing? Until you get so annoying to the point where he can't take those questions no more, that's when he'll also leave and go with somebody else too. The last and third thing that I wanna talk to the women about how men view sex is that a man will do things for you outside of the bedroom to get you in the bedroom, but that still doesn't mean he likes you and wanna be with you. So let me break it down to y'all. There are some men out there who will plan dates, who will come over, who will fix stuff for you, who will show up for you if you got a flat tire and be there. There's men who will do all of those things. Even if he does those things, he has an ulterior motive. He has the idea of, ooh, if I show up for her, if I keep doing what I need to be doing, <laughs> she's going to continue to give me that good good, okay? She's going to continue to let me in on this good experience that we're having sexually. So there are tons of men 
who will do things for you outside of the bedroom to get you in the bedroom, but then they still don't see a commitment with you long term. So, so don't be fooled and confused by that because you're like, well, we went on a date and he took me out and he came over and fixed uh, the painting that was on my wall. And then my sink was leaking and so he tightened up a screw. And so that absolutely means he wants to be with me. No, it don't. <laughs> it just means he's trying to stay on your good side so you can keep having sex with him. So it can also be something that is beneficial to him. So please be aware of that as well. All I'm saying is bro will do what he needs to do. He'll call, text, but it's all just a means to get to sex. So let me give y'all my final thoughts on this before we end. So I personally feel like these things that we talked about in this video, it's not fun, but it's true. And I wanted to be honest with you guys because you are getting duped you are getting fooled and you are getting sucked into experiences, being hopeful that something is going to shift and change and it won't. Don't find yourself fooling with a guy for months and even years, <laughs> hoping that he's going to one day pick and choose you. One thing that I know about men for sure is that if he's not verbalizing that he wants to be with you, if he's not saying, oh yeah, we're going to take this to the next level. Oh yeah, I see a future with you. And the words and the actions are aligning. <laughs> If it's either or, uh, that does not work, right? And so you have to be woman enough and you have to be strong enough to state your needs. If you want commitment, you want marriage, and he does not, then why are we even playing with each other, okay? Like, I know you a grown adult person and you can have fun and have sex and do whatever you want to do, but I also want you to make sure that you're not getting your heart broken because, again, now you are going through things that you didn't necessarily have to go through and you're also preventing yourself from being with the right person and you're also preventing him from being with his person too. So why are we doing that? Let's avoid that at all costs. Be open and honest with each other from the jump and then things will be so much better. Well, thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this with a homegirl who need it because you know we got some people who needed to hear this conversation and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!